three, two, one, go get them. Today, we're surprising a shelter dog with 1,000 dog toys. And that's a big deal because this Doberman right here named Barney has had it pretty rough. See those marks around his muzzle? That most likely means his mouth was taped shut. And the shelter told me one of his favorite things are toys. So we're gonna set up this giant pile and see if he wants to jump in it. We're gonna take him on a dog's day out, which means we're gonna let him pick his first meal, we're gonna make him a special dessert, and we're gonna bring in a pro photographer to get professional pictures of him to increase his chances of adoption. And thank you PetSmart for sponsoring this video as well as a big thanks to Seal Beach Animal Care Center for saving this guy and allowing us to share his story with the world. We're adding the final toys to the pile. It's time to bring Barney in and surprise him. Okay, I've got a big surprise for you, Barney. Three, two, one, go get him! Oh, oh. Yeah, they're all yours, buddy! Get him, bud! Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa! <laughs> Maybe too far. He's pretty good at this. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be overwhelmed, but he's definitely. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's a good one, huh? The question is, are you gonna share this with all your friends? <laughs> it's neat to see him kind of pick a toy that he wants and then just go over to his space and enjoy that toy. This makes me so happy. It's so neat just seeing what a sweet dog he is and how we're, you know, he deserves this. He's been through a lot. Okay, what's his story? So he came in actually as a stray. Um, a younger couple, I believe, found him wandering. And so they brought him here. He was super emaciated. Oh. At their scale, he weighed 40 pounds. So he, so he was almost half the weight he should be here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Getting him a thousand toys represents more than just letting him have fun and play. It shows him that humans do care about him. Going from a situation where he most likely had his mouth taped shut and he couldn't chew on any toys or anything, to now getting to chew on all of the toys that he could ever dream of is the perfect example of what Dog's Day Out is all about. So we're gonna start Dog's Day Out by letting him decide what his favorite food is. I'm gonna make an awesome gourmet meal for Barney. I'm a pet chef, so I'm the one to do it. But first, I wanna see what he likes. So we're gonna see, does he want salmon? Does he want chicken? I'm gonna cook up some beef for him and see what he likes, and then I'm gonna make him a gourmet meal. Okay, I'm gonna count down. Are you ready? He's ready. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Oh, it's the beef! Oh, it's the salmon? Okay, oh, it's the chicken. Oh, <laughs> he, he ate them all. <laughs> He's so fast. It was the beef. I can't wait until you see what I make for his gourmet meal. But first, there's something I want to do that I think will help increase his chances of getting adopted. Alex, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, this is Barney. Hi, Barney. Hi, handsome man. Oh, look at that. You know Shake? Shake? Is he already sitting for you yes, and shaking? Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, wow. so he's definitely had some training. Okay, so this is Alex. So here's what I need. I am running to the store right now. I've got to get him something really special. And then we're going to continue the dog's day out. But what I need is to get him adopted. And I think one thing that will help with that is showing people that just because he's big, because he has the scars, that doesn't make him a scary dog. And I think if he knew some basic commands, that might really help him get adopted. Absolutely. I'm gonna leave him with you, let you work with him. I'll come back, and then hopefully you can teach us both some of his new tricks. Okay, cool. Okay, thanks that so much. Good. Okay, here you go. Welcome. Barney is eating a lot more food. So I thought, why don't we come and get him some food that's specific to his needs? PetSmart's sponsoring this video, so we're gonna load up the cart and get him what he wants. Sometimes selecting the right food for your dog can be overwhelming. There are so many to choose from. That's where PetSmart comes in. They can guide you through your search to pick the right food for your dog. I let the PetSmart associate know that we're feeding Barney a lot of smaller, more frequent meals to help him put on weight. She recommended this because it's bite size. 85% beef, 15% non-GMO vegetables, fruits, and other wholesome ingredients. Perfect. I'm very excited. I loaded up the cart with Instinct Raw for Barney so that he has months of food. Now, hopefully he gets adopted before that, but if not, we know that he'll be eating healthy and that'll make him happy. 
PetSmart understands how much pet parents love their pets and would do anything for them. Here's something cool. If you recently adopted a dog, bring your adoption papers in store to get the new dog adoption kit that has training tips, tricks, and more, plus $300 in savings. Can't stop in? Get what you need ASAP by selecting DoorDash same day delivery or curbside pickup. Visit PetSmart or PetSmart.com for the many anything PetSmart has for your new dog. I'll put the link in the description below. Special thanks to PetSmart for sponsoring this video. We're gonna do a miniature burger for one of the first items. Some might call it a slider. Now I'm making everything miniature because he has to eat smaller, more frequent meals. Remember, he came into the shelter really emaciated and you can't just eat all of that food at the same time. That would be really bad. You have to slowly put on that weight and build up to regular size meals. Okay, here's my dog friendly Wellington based, only dog friendly ingredients. I even have some dog friendly cheese right here, no dairy. We're also gonna make a small street taco for him. Beef Wellington. Small slider, small street taco, all with my dairy-free dog-friendly cheese. The question is, what one do you think he'll pick? We'll come back to these as soon as they cool down. I think it would be key to get him some professional photos. So I asked a pro photographer to help me with that, and we're gonna meet her right now. Let's go, buddy. Hey. Hi. How are you? Hey, I'm Rocky. Sarah. Nice Sarah, to nice to meet you. Wow, look at this setup here. This is amazing. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm trying to accomplish with this boy right here. You know, I want to show the softer side of him. You see how friendly he is? <laughs> yes. He's the best. You're embarrassing. I thought I was the only one who got the kisses. <laughs> this setup and this backdrop's already looking great. Do you think you can bring out his personality with some awesome photos? Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to leave him with you. I'll help if you want uh, get him set up. Okay. And let's get some awesome pictures. Sounds good. Okay, let's do it. This is already going great. I cannot wait for you guys to see the final pro pictures coming up here in a little bit. We're gonna bring in some other dogs to get pics. This is going great. Oh, wow, okay, how'd he do? <laughs> he did so, so well. Really? He did so well. He you think he got some good shots? Yes, definitely. I cannot wait <laughs> to reveal these. At the end, we're gonna show his professional shots that we will use to help get him adopted. He did so good. So I think it's time to let him pick his favorite meal. We know beef is his favorite, so we're gonna let him choose between my beef wellington, my small mini hamburger or slider, and small street taco, and I even have my dog-friendly cheese on there. I'm gonna count down. Here we go. Three, two, one, go get him, buddy. What's your favorite? Pick one. The beef well. Oh, the hammer. Oh, the taco. Oh, back to the beef well. Okay, okay, okay. Good boy. It was the beef Wellington. We're gonna pack this up for him and save it for later because he has to have small, more frequent meals until he puts his weight on. Good boy. Wow, he loved that beef Wellington. It's summertime in the marina, and there are a lot of people out and about. So I thought this could be a great way to get a lot of eyeballs on Barney and possibly increase his chances of getting adopted. And how fun would it be going on a boat with a dog? I made this sign, this adopt me sign. What? So we can work on getting him adopted. All right, you ready to go on a boat ride? Good boy. Good boy, good boy. Good boy. You're a boat dog. He goes, I think this is the life for me. He's, he's so relaxed and calm. This is perfect. Hey, there's a restaurant up there with people eating. We gotta get, we gotta get him, let him know that he's available for adoption. Adopt Barney. Is there a horn on this thing? Uh -uh. <laughs> Man, we should have got you a captain's hat. Oh, you like this boat ride? I'm having fun too, buddy. I see, I see people up there too. Look at this. Okay. Hey. Look, they see us, they see us. Adopt me! Adopt Barney! Mm -hmm. Yeah! They saw that for sure. Good job, Barney. Good boy. He's a good boy. All right, let's go see everyone at the beach. They saw it, they saw it. <laughs> Barney, 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 Barney. Yeah! It's so neat. Uh, getting to see people show him love because it's something he hasn't really had before. The shelter's been showing him a lot of love, but 
him learning that people are good and they love him and they care for him, those moments are really important. I know we made Barney his favorite meal. We got him some awesome food at PetSmart, who is the sponsor of this video. But now I think he needs some dessert. So what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna whip up some amazing treats and then we're gonna let Barney decide which one he likes best. We are gonna let you pick your very own dessert. So I'm using delicious ingredients that dogs love, like applesauce. That way you don't need sugar in there. Apples are sweet and tasty. Smells good, huh, buddy? Smell that? I am going to put some peanut butter in there. We're gonna go heavy on the peanut butter. This right here are just peanuts, nothing else in it, and it's organic, so it's free of toxins. Let him lick some of that. <laughs> you gotta lick it, buddy. Put a little on his nose there. <laughs> are you biting at it? I baked up some very special things today. First, we have my famous dessert sliders for dogs. Look at that, looks like a little hamburger. It's all fresh, dog safe quality ingredients. A carrot cake, dogs love carrots. They're sweet, it's in a cake form, delicious. And my cheesy bone. So the question is, which one will Barney choose? Okay, which one will he choose? Here we go, Barney. Three, two, one. Pick a treat, my man. I can't thank you guys enough for all of the support that you've been giving us on these Dogs Day Outs. A lot of you asked me how you can help, and the best way to help is by becoming a member. So many of you are members already, and by being a monthly member, it allows us to help more dogs in need. And what I love about that is when you become a member, it's like you're here with me helping this dog. Hit that join button. You get all kinds of awesome perks too. So check it out and become a member today. Oh, I almost forgot to update you on how his training session went. Check this out. Hi. Okay, I'm back. Hi buddy, I'm back. How did he do? He's amazing. He's already really well trained. Look at that, he's not even paying attention to me anymore. <laughs> I'm the one with all the treats and toys, buddy. Yeah, he <laughs> said, I'm a very polite boy. Um, and he's really easily trainable. I mean, I taught him how to walk next to me in just a few minutes for how big he is and so mellow. He's a sweetie pie. He'd make a great addition to any home. Wait, what? Okay, say that one more time. <laughs> he would make a great addition to any home. He's mellow, he's yes. sweet, he's easily trainable. God. He's very responsive, in tune with me. He's amazing. He's that is amazing. so awesome, buddy. You did so yeah. good. I can already see a difference. Oh, yeah. he still lo he still loves giving kisses. <laughs> oh, we like doggy kisses. <laughs> we, we will never train that away. <laughs> no, we love doggy kisses. <laughs> oh man, you're gonna get adopted, buddy. I just know it. You're so smart. I'm so glad Alex was able to come help us train. And listen, if you don't live in the area, remember, PetSmart has training at all of their stores as well. This is gonna be his first time at the beach on the sand, first time he's ever experienced that. And then we're gonna see if he loves the water. And honestly, I don't know, I know a lot about dogs. I don't know how Dobermans feel about water and I definitely don't know how he feels about water. So we're gonna go try this out. We're gonna be very mindful of other dogs and see how he reacts around those other dogs too. Let's see what you think of your paws in the sand, buddy. Let's go. Oh, he loves it. What is that? Wow, what is that? <laughs> Are you a happy boy? You a happy boy? Oh yeah, okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> wow, he's going straight to the water. I might be swimming today. <laughs> this is a big deal for him, right? Having been through all of this with his mouth probably taped up and now being free and getting to go jump in the ocean and go to the beach, it's a big moment. I think he's ready. Okay, let's go. <laughs> he disagrees with that sign. 
And you gotta check out these awesome before and after pictures of Barney and his friends to help him get adopted from our professional photographer, Sarah D. Raymer. I think it's the same for him, but our mission is not done yet, and I need your help. Share this with everyone you know, and if you're interested in adopting him, I'll put the link down below to Seal Beach Animal Care Center so that you can fill out an application. And thank you, PetSmart, for being a sponsor of this video. One dog and one mission, where I take homeless dogs out on their best day ever and work to raise awareness to get them adopted. I'm Rocky Kanaka, and this is Dog's Day Out.